Hey guys, so Lord here, back again with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Cosmic Legion's Wave 2 Grave Knight. This name is a mouthful. Abira Jumbira? What the Sam Hell? Eric Treadway, what were you smoking when you came up with that name? I mean, seriously. Either way, of course, this is brought to us by the fine folks over at Four Horsemen Studios who apparently take smoke breaks because how the hell else do you come up with a name like Bira Jumbira? I've heard Gyra Jumgyra. I. Whatever the hell her name is, <laughs> it's the Scorpion Lady from Wave 2 of Cosmic Legions, alright? And I'm uh, borrowing this from Mr. Brian, aka my dad, aka the Oldsman to bring you guys this review probably a little bit later than I should have but you know what that's what happens when you're so far ahead you're ahead by like a month so you know what deal with it it's my channel <laughs> that said in the way of her accessories we're just gonna cut right to the chase cuz I'm on a bit of a uh, I'm on the clock actually cuz I want to get this review done in this figure back to him before I don't know something stupid happens and uh, it gets effed up in my room if it gets effed up in his room, it's not my fault. First up, she comes with a pair of open hands. Now, I will tell you, these pegs aren't necessarily fragile, but the uh, ports they plug into are tight as heck. So, heat up the gauntlets before you swap the hands, is all I'm going to say. She also comes with a pair of... I'm guessing these are trigger hands. They're kind of slightly open grip hands. She does have the trigger fingers there. And uh, she does have the hinges. The inappropriate hinges for holding weapons, unfortunately. But she does have them. But uh, there you go. Personally, I like the claw hands the most for this character. She seems a little bit feral. Based off uh, how she's dressed. I mean, compared to her partner... Novian Lean, who's all kind of tacked out with guns and stuff. She just has, like, blades, and she does have the, uh, Svexian blaster rifle here. Which is fine, I guess, but this seems a lot big for her. And look at this friggin' thing. Holy cow. It's almost as big as she is. Uh, that said, speaking of the Svexian, she also comes with the same uh, two-prong spear weapon that they have. I think it's a slightly different color than theirs. Along with the blaster, I think it's more of a brown uh, this time around, but there you go. That is her layout. She does come with stuff for... Actually, that's a lie. She comes with an extra head, too. almost forgot. But uh, this one's a little bit more uh, unhappy to be here, so we're going to get that right out of the way here. That said, she does come with a little bit more on her person when you first open her. Like, I don't know, the big freaking tail sticking off the back of her head? That's a start. And then uh, she does also have the two pauldrons that do hinge up and down a little bit there. Which uh, you could kind of use this figure as a Mythic Legions if you wanted to. I mean, aside from some of the techie armor, you could always swap that out for some female orc armor. Maybe from the Orc Legion Builder, the deluxe one that just came out for the video game. Um, I didn't pick that up. Kind of kicking myself for doing that. And then maybe swap out something on this hand, or this side, so she doesn't have a big peg hole. But, uh, you know, her chest plate, her shoulder pauldrons, her skirt pieces, they kind of work for Mythic, so, you know, I guess her shin guards could as well, but I think you'd want to swap something a little bit less teched out on there. But uh, she does also have a little piece back here that helps hold her tail up. So it doesn't just cause her head to go plunk. So she's looking up all the time. So that's a that's a nice little gesture from the horseman. You know, sometimes the necks are a little loose. This kind of it does hinder articulation a little bit. <laughs> the freaking tail sticking out the back hinders it more than that little thing does. But while it hinders it a little bit, it's nice that it holds the head in place. That way she's not always looking up. But uh, as far as articulation on this figure goes, it does look side to side. It does look up and down a little bit. Uh, the pauldrons do move up and down. Shoulders go out to the side. 
you know, all I can. I don't want to push it too far, because hashtag not my figure. They do rotate forward and back. She does have a single jointed elbow that bends about 90 degrees, I want to say. This is a 2.0, so they get a little bit more range than a 1.0. It does swivel there as well. She does have a gauntlet twist. This side was a little stuck on this figure, but a little hot breath. I was able to get it working, so that's good. Then she does have the wrist swivel with the hinge. Uh, again, inappropriate hinge for holding weapons, which kind of sucks, but um, what are you going to do? That said, she does have this little arm blade over here, which you can pop out. I was thinking maybe you could flip this around and have it like kind of retracted, but it kind of hits the shoulder pad, so I wouldn't advise that. But I guess you could do that if you wanted to. It kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. But it does spin a little bit. She doesn't come with anything else for the other side. I kind of sworn she came with two of these. I think the weapons pack has two of these. That is literally the only thing I would want out of that weapons pack, just to give her one over here. So she had a matching set. That seems kind of stupid. I could have sworn she was advertised with two of these. Am I tripping? I could have sworn she had two of these. Maybe I thought it was the spear and I'm a dumbass, but whatever. Um, she does have a diaphragm that can crunch pretty far forward. I guess if you take that piece out, you can tilt her head back a little more so she can look up, but... Uh, she could tilt forward, she could tilt back a little bit, rotate side to side. You don't have to heat it like the gray alien IS or something or other, which I'm starting to think I got his name completely wrong, so I'm going to look like a real freaking smart guy in that video. Uh, she does have a waist twist, kind of hindered, but it works. Her torso can tilt a little bit, but I don't want to make it loose. Um, her hips kick forward and back. They do kick out, back down. She does have a thigh cut here which is a little tricky to use because she's got a bit of the butt cheek on there and uh while i and a fine connoisseur of tush like the gentleman in zz top uh yeah kind of hinders articulation a bit i will say this hip is a little loose on this figure but uh that could just be the crotch i will say this thigh was stuck initially but it works now but um, if I could hit that with a little bit of heat, I'd probably be able to get it working a little better. But as it stands, it's fine, it works, but I'm not worried about anything breaking. But this hip is a little loose. I think the hole's a little big uh, where it plugs in in the crotch there. So it is what it is. It's not my problem because it's not my figure. But um, it does kind of suck because I do want this figure. And uh, if I were to get this one then uh, I do have a crotch that I could swap out for uh, that one. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, she does have a single knee, but uh, they're tighter than heck, and this one doesn't want to budge. There we go. There we go. She's got a hinge knee. She's going to swivel below the knee. Look at this really cool colored skin, too. I thought it was clear at first, is it? No, it's not clear. It's just yellow. I don't know why I thought she was translucent. It's just yellow. But uh, she's got this really cool kind of yellow, orangish, yellow, red-orange skin. I know I just named like six colors there, but you know what I mean. She's got a really cool looking skin. I like the tone. Um, does also have a swivel in the foot with a rocker and a hinge. She's got really cool looking feet, too. Look at those. Three prong claw feet. That's pretty rad. Um, but yeah, man, this is a cool figure. I dig her. I wish I had one of my own, but I was stupid and I didn't buy her because I thought she looked kind of funky. A lot of people are saying her head looks like a turkey. I mean, we just had Thanksgiving, but that joke writes itself. It does look like a freaking turkey's ass. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, that said, she does have a bendy wire in the tail here, so you can pose this around a little bit. What sucks is you can't get it above her head. And, uh, I don't think you can anyways. I don't think there's a wire going high enough in this thing. Yeah, that's about as far up as I can get it without, uh, worrying about anything, because hashtag not my figure. But, um, 
putting this sucker down. I will say, when you kind of straighten it a bit, the uh, the stinger does face a, a different direction. It usually turns to the side, but I think it was just twisted on there, so uh, that's good. It's not messed up, because that would not be my fault, because she came that way. But uh, yeah, man, Bera Jumbera, or whatever the hell her name is. Um, <laughs> crazy McCrazy. It's a pretty cool figure. She's better than I thought she would be. I don't know if she's Novian Lean status. I mean, that figure has just got the whole package. She seems a bit light on accessories compared to him. But uh, she does not feel like she is not worth the uh, price of admission whatsoever. I think she's really cool. And uh, hopefully one day I'll have one of my own. So with that being said, if I can get her standing here. It's that one leg wants to be a pain in my booty pipe here there we go moving her over a little bit I'm moving on over tons of 70s rock references where else are you gonna get that kind of uh quality entertainment quote unquote i don't know but uh with that being said let's move right along and take a look at some size comparisons first up here is good old broad bro whatever the hell her name is, alongside her partner in crime, Novian Lean. To the left and to the right, we have my favorite figure from Cosmic Legion's Grave Knight, Canucks Vol, complete with loosey-goosey ankles. Yes, despite the fact he still has the loosey-goosey ankles, I still really like that figure. He looks like he came right out of the 90s spawn line. What can I say? I'm a sucker for... Anything related to my top three loves, which is, for those of you who don't know, Ghost Rider, Gargoyles, and Spawn. He fits the bill. I can't help it if I like what I like, right? Is that what it's all about? Well, at least here it is. This is my freaking channel. But the reason I brought him in here is because I think these guys are all mercenaries. I'm not sure if they're all on the same team, but they definitely look like they could be. You got a big Hulk at Cyborg, Bruiser... You got the uh, scorpion chick, and you got the lizard bounty hunter with all the bells and whistles. He's got the wrist rocket, the rifle, the two pistols. He's got it all going on. The only thing he doesn't have is jetpack, although he could have rockets in his boots, I guess. So, moving these two out of the way here. Because it wouldn't be one of my videos without bringing in these two. Got the... Mythic Legions, who also kind of has loosey-goosey ankles, but uh, here's the thing. He's from 2018, for crying out loud, so he's got an excuse. And we also have, speaking of Spawn, the MK-11 Spawn, and uh, Abrod's Burl, or whatever the hell her name is, is close to being a member of the Red and Black Club, but uh, it's just a little off. She's a little bit more orange and less red. I think her armor is a little bit on the brown side as opposed to the black side. So she's close, but no cigar. So with that being said, time to wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and while I can wholeheartedly say that good old Burl, whatever the hell her name is, doesn't exactly change my opinion about 2.0 bodies in Legions, because you gotta remember, we got Mythic and Cosmic now, I will say that for a 2.0 figure, she's one of the better ones in my opinion, and a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect to like this figure as much as I do, and now that I do, I am kicking myself in the pants for not buying one for myself. So uh, I guess the harassment will have to begin, right? I have to get this figure somehow. Uh, that said, I will say if the Four Horsemen ever plan to do a tribute to, is it Scorpina or Scorpia from the Masters of the Universe series, specifically Princess of Power, the Evil Horde, uh, to be exact, this is the perfect base for it. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. I don't know if it'll be in Cosmic or Mythic, but uh, I definitely expect to see that and a buzz off homage at some point in the near to distant future because 
With PowerCon not happening next year, I don't know if they're going to do any tributes, which sucks because that means we're that much further from getting a Scareglow tribute, which is the one I want the most, dadgummit. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.